Josh Phillips, um, fresh off the first place finish at the 2023 3000 meter championships in New South Wales. Um, yep. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm relieved that I got the win. Uh, I was pretty nervous before the race because I know going into it I had an expectation to win. Uh, you know, I set that goal for myself so I didn't want anything less than that so I'm glad that I could uh, get it done. So I'm a bit more relieved now than I was before the race. Yeah. yeah. How has your training looked like since the 10k because you won that as well? Yeah, it's been pretty good. I, I've raced well at the 10K. Like, 
I was kind of on my own for a lot of it. I was running with Tom DeCano on the first half uh, and then I pulled away and I didn't run sort of as quick as I would, I'd wanted to, but I was pretty happy, but training was pretty pretty rough after that. I had a big week the week after and I think I didn't let my body recover, so yeah. I had to tone back this week, but I'm glad I freshened up for it, yeah. Yeah, and I assume when you finished college in the US recently, like you had options to stay in the US, I assume, but you chose uh, to come back? Not really. No? I don't right. think I'd run quite quick enough really? uh, to right. stay. Um, which, you know, I mean, I'd run well, you know, 13, 44, uh, but in the US, like, that's just kind of just above average, really. There's a lot of good guys over there. Um, but, you know, I was excited to come home, continue training with my, my college coach, uh, Matt Valeriani. Um, and, yeah, just kind of keep experimenting with some of the training that we've been doing there. A lot of heart rate training. <laughs> um, so, you know, I was, I was excited to expand on that when I came home. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, tell us more specifically about how the race went. Like, did it go out quick? Did it go out slow? Yeah, so I mean, I kind of had a feeling there was one or two guys that were going to take it out. Um, I wasn't like scared to go to the front from the beginning, but I just wanted to wait and see, uh, you know, who's going to do what. Uh, but first, like, 600 meters was quite slow. And I think Stefan went to the front, pushed the pace a little bit, which was nice. Um, and then I was kind of sitting in like third or fourth. And then Probably just before halfway, I could feel that the pace was slowing and I was like, I don't want it to become a kicker's race. Like, right now I'm training for the 10K and like I'm, I'm aerobically very fit, but I'm not super fast yet. So I was like, I'm gonna go to the front and keep the pace rolling and try and burn guys out. Um, so yeah, I went to the front with probably four and a bit laps to go. And yeah, just made a big run for home with like 800 to go. And you know, just down the back straight in the last lap, I felt someone coming up next to me and I, I covered the move and I had enough with uh, 200 to go to make another change gears again. I guess and yeah got the win so awesome yeah. and what does the rest of the track season look like for you so obviously you got the Zatapak 10k but anything else yeah so that's going to be the next one for me kind of in like four weeks so this is just starting last week I started like my kind of peaking phase in training so introducing some faster track workouts and stuff like that um, so yeah Zatapak will be the next race like early December and then really after that I think it's just going to be a bunch of stuff in the domestic season until nationals and then after that, I'm going to go over to the US and try and race a fast 10K or 5K maybe. So, nice. yeah, that's the plan, loosely. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Pretty fun one to watch. Yeah. We're back for a while. Yeah.